Hey, this is Rick again from Valley Accessories, and today we're going to show you how to install one of the trailer hitches on your Spider RT 2010 and newer and your F3 T and Limited, which would be 2016 and newer. So it's fairly easy install, one that I think most people can do fairly easily. The parts are all shown right here. You, It comes with some pretty good instructions some pictures here it is part number 41-264 that's the show chrome number you can see we've got the hitch we've got the side brackets we've got some spacers we've got a long bolt here we've got some regular bolts we got set screws we got some tools very basic tools and i think that most people should be able to handle this we also have an adapter bracket. If you were to buy one of the show chrome mud flaps, it'll fit right on there. With that, also I'm showing the for the F3T Unlimited and the RT 2020 newer. This is a trailer wiring uh, isolator harness that you would use for your trailer. Uh, we are not going to show that right now. We'll show that at a later time. So let's uh we'll go we are gonna go right straight down through the instructions here so everybody can follow if you want to look and print out instructions ahead of time and make sure that you thoroughly understand what we're doing so the first thing we're going to do is remove the two plastic caps and then we're going to remove the uh, cotter key on the uh the pin on the right side so we'll come around here and we'll show you what we're talking about and i'll turn the light on back here so we've got these axle caps here now these are not going to be put back on afterwards so take those off it's just like that if you ever wondered what they look like so i'll set that aside and let's go down inside here and down here we have this axle cap also, and it's a little bit tight with the uh, with the uh, muffler there. And then <clears throat> I'm going to take a minute and take this gutter pin out of here. So all I'm going to do is twist this around and pull it out. Okay, I've got my uh, cutter pin straightened around here, and then. All I'm going to do is pull it straight out the opposite end. Okay. Now, they suggest you keep that in case you ever were to put it back and uh, not use your um, hitch. But you will not be using it in this installation. The next step is you've got a couple of uh, spacers. Uh, they suggest putting some tape on it. In case there is a little bit too much slack, I usually run two layers twice around. And then all you're going to do is, just so it's tight in there, just put it right like that to the outside. And you're going to go around to the other side here and put it in there flush to there. Okay, that's good. Now, what they have you do in the instructions is take these set screws here on both of the mounting blocks and take these up and put them in, but do not let them go up into here. You'll do that later. And then you're going to do the same on the other side. I do believe that takes a, a four millimeter Allen wrench we have right here to set those when we get them ready. Okay, so that's that. And then we're going to look at our handy instructions again. And uh, flush long set screw so what we're going to do now we're going to take the right side um slide the right mount over the swing arm and um tighten up with the set screw 
So let's do that right now. I'm gonna bring my Allen wrench with me. Okay, we're gonna put the bracket in here. Push this, the lines away, and just kind of slide it like that, and then there. It's in, and then we're gonna get up underneath here, and the set screw that we were just talking about, we're gonna tighten that up. And I'll come back, that's real tight, but I'll come back and retighten it in just a few minutes, save some time. Then we're gonna do the exact same thing on the right side. And it's basically gonna go slide over like such. And then we're gonna go and tighten up the, the set screw. And, and then we'll, like I say, we'll retighten these in a few minutes just to save some time right now. Okay. Okay, it's now it's time to install the axle bolt. What we're gonna do is starting from the left side, we are gonna insert the long bolt that they give to you with a lock washer on the end right here. Put it through. Also, here, the big spacer thing. Okay, hold that up there. Goes right over into in the slot here. And, oh, I push through. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now we're going to take our lock washer and our nut. Carefully slide it up there and get started like that. And then take your two 17 millimeter wrenches, one on the left and one to one to start ratcheting. However, you're gonna okay. As we get done ratcheting here, tighten that up real good. Take a little bit, but you want it real good. Okay, that is sufficient. Next thing we're gonna do, and this really, if you're doing it by yourself, you're gonna have a little bit more trouble, but it can be done. <clears throat> Just hold it on your knee here, and kinda line that up, and as you can see, no problem. Let me get some more bolts. So you're gonna use the bolts that are provided with the lock washers. Don't tighten them up all the way yet. You're gonna go and uh, easier. On the right side, since I'm right-handed. And then Oh, it's easier on the other side man. So this is a real video, so pretty much shows what happens when you're doing stuff. And then what we're gonna do is go over. Okay. Okay, I've got all of these uh, bolts inserted. All I'm gonna do now is tighten it up. And I will go back with my little breaker bar. I will sufficiently tighten these in just a couple minutes. So as you can see, Looks good. I'll tighten these. I'll I'll, I'll retighten the uh, the set screws in just a minute. And you're wondering what you put on here. This doesn't come with it, but in most cases, your small trailers are all going to be one and seven eighths inch ball. Most cases, our BRP trailer is, and 
three quarter inch shank. So it's three quarter inch shank. We usually get the like the one and a half uh, inch long shanks by three quarter. Once in a while, uh, you'll need to set these up higher. You can use a couple of um, large washers to put underneath this to get it just a little bit higher. In, in most cases, that's all you need. They do sell some spacers that you can get higher, but that pretty much does it for the hitch install from Showchrome. Part number 41-264, available from us at Valley Accessories at valleyaccessories.net. And if you like this video and you want to subscribe to some of our other install videos or anything else that we put out, hit subscribe. Thanks. Mm -hmm.